Good morning and welcome to your Monday morning Saunders Social weekly setup. It's October 16th and we're so excited to have you back with us this Monday morning. I'm Jennifer Krippner. I'm dialing in from northern Minnesota where I woke up to 31 degrees. So welcome to, I guess, what's really fall into winter for us, um, but we're hoping to warm up to something in the 50s. So great to have you here with us. So many people um, that um, it's great to see your names pop back up in here. If we have anybody that's new, um, please just say yes in the chat um, and make sure to set your chat to everyone. Um, it defaults to host and panelists, so just click that little down arrow to everyone so we can all see your answers. Um, and let us know what you're looking forward to. So far, I'm seeing and hearing this morning, um, we have somebody just back from your wedding. Congratulations. And um, big hugs to you for dropping your 12-week-old off at daycare for the first time this morning. Um, we're all giving you a big hug today. Um, also, a big hug to Lori on the loss of your father-in-law. Um, happy birthday to Andrea. Um, lots of other great activities happening Um Lots of other good things to look forward to. Um, some fall cooler weather for people. Um, hello from California as well. Hopefully you've got some warm weather. And um, speaking of, um, oh, Aisha, it's happy birthday to you too. So great. Um, welcome, Kim. Speaking of California, we have um, Karen with us this morning in the chat. Karen, if you want to come on and say hello. Um, we love having Karen in the chat. She's awesome to help you with any questions. Um, so let's get started and set up our week. Um, our theme this month, as you know, our lovely um, October journal is um, perseverance. And um, I love this theme and think it's super important for us to just keep moving um, and, and get going on all of our dreams and hopes and goals and we're going to help you with that this week um, as we set up the week. Um, before we do that, just a quick reminder that we are all here building a community. So we just want to remind you, be kind, courteous. Let's really focus in the chat how we might really help elevate one another um, and really think about how we can um, be our best, um, help each other, just um, put our best foot forward. So let's... Um, um, help, uh, Karen can help us move forward if we get stuck in the chat. All right. So our agenda for today, um, we're going to really focus on the third week of October with our mind map. And I've got great examples to show you. We'll show week one and two if you are new to us for the first time. Um, and then we'll move right into reflecting on our rose, bud, and thorn. And we will um, do that before we move on to our weekly setup pages. All right. And let's look now into our mind map. A mind map is really just a way to explore different concepts, right, of um, perseverance in our lives. Uh, there's five weekends this month. So we have five different questions that we're going to pose to you. And so we like to really think about um, different questions that really can think about the theme for the month. So this is how we have it set up this month and each week we unveil a new question. So the first question that we did on week one, and I'm gonna just review it because you might be new to us, is how can perseverance help you flourish or help you be your best? The second week was what does perseverance perseverance mean to you? So really, how do you define that? And I can help you with that in a little bit. And so the question for today is, how does your beliefs about others play a role in perseverance? So that's the question. Um, so as we think about getting out our journals, um, there's many different places you can write it. You could just grab like a blank notebook if you don't want to use your journal, you could grab some sticky notes. Um, on here, you could grab page three. 
um, th page three um, is this definition page. So per perseverance means persistence in doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. And then you could use page 38, and that's just a quote page, and you could use the blank spaces around it. Um, so the quote is many of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. And then there is a scratch pad on each weekly page. And therefore you could use the scratch pad. Um, so lots of different places where you could use um, this to um, write out your mind map. I'm gonna give you some more examples of how people actually drew this out. All right. So somebody drew a house and they wrote in perseverance mind map at the top. And then each week they had a little box of where they could answer. Somebody did a flower. Um, somebody did just different boxes on the right side. I love this me in the middle with different kind of beams going out from it. And then here um, in the middle, Jennifer Ogilvy, one of our other um, facilitators did, oh, um, Lane, that was you that did um, the me. Is that the one that you did on the previous page? Um, oh, you did the house. Awesome. Thanks for sharing that. That's awesome. So Jennifer Ogilvy did, she just traced her driver's license. Um, so that was an easy way for her to fit it all on one page. So some of the answers that we're seeing from over the weekend is how does your belief about others play a role in perseverance? When I see mistakes by others, I try to do better and be an example, continue to improve myself first. Jennifer's answer was, um, I hold others to high expectations, but can I, I can easily give um, grace as needed. I'm much um, kinder to others than I am to myself. Remember, don't believe everything you see online, on the internet. Always be curious, non-judgmental. I don't know everything behind the story. And then the other one is I'm a people watcher and it depends on the situation, how I react to them. If they are doing something I consider negative, I think about how, how I would do it differently. If they are doing something positive, I debate about how I, it would fit in my life. So I'm going to give you some time to think about this answer, um, your answer to this question. Um, how does your beliefs in others play a role in persistence? And I'm going to put the mind map back up there in case you didn't get the first two questions. And so I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to play a song for you and give you time to fill this out. When you're done, if you feel like sharing your answer in the chat, we'd love to see that in, and um, be able to be supportive to you. All right, I'll see you back here in a little bit.
Absolute incredible insight um, in the chat. Thank you so much for sharing. And um, I, I'm loving what I'm hearing. I think um, Stacy said it nicely too. I think seeing others go through some of the same situations and struggles really helps you motivate and persevere and knowing that you're not alone. And I love that about this community is that we're able to share what we're going through and really know that um, we have this community to really move things forward. And um, and I think um, truly having that insight and, and support and community is, is helpful. And so thank you everyone for sharing that, really truly believing in others and, and be, believing the best and coming into it from a curious and not non-judgmental um, mindset is helpful. And I love, I think somebody said, you know, when we get into that space where we might not be um, so curious or not judgmental, what is something that we can do um, that um, maybe triggers us to step back? And somebody said, you know, just be kind to yourself and give yourself grace. And um, I love this, like Andrea said, I love this community. And um, we're really focused around, you know, supporting one another. And I think this conversation has been very supportive and very helpful. So I would like us now to think about um, this past week, we are going to do our rosebud and thorn. And um, it is on, let's see, page 44. So let's everybody turn to page 44. Um, before we start to plan next week, it's always really good to reflect back on where we were last week. And so I am going to share with you my rosebud and thorn for this past week. Um, as you know, most of you probably know, I had my very first grandbaby born in August, baby Brooks. I got to babysit him for the very first time by myself for over 12 years. Um, hours. So of course we took tons of pictures and um, this is him. He's now two months old and 13 pounds. And so I just felt so honored that they could go spend 12 hours away from him and leave him with me. Well, I actually went to his house, so it made it really easy. So that was my highlight. Um, my bud is I love Hallmark movies and Christmas Hallmark movies start on Friday, um, October 20th. So I'm super excited um, to get to watch movies on um, this coming weekend. Um, I woke up this morning. I think I said that, that it was like 31 degrees in Northern Minnesota. So last week we had a lot of rain and cold. And so my thorn was, um, that it was, it kind of slowed my movement outside. I like to take fall walks and it, we just had so much rain and it was cold. So, and windy. So that was my rose bun and thorn. Um, so as you can tell, a rose is a highlight, a win, something that happened and went really well last week. Um, a bud is something that's an emerging opportunity, something that you're looking forward to. And a thorn is a challenge. Um, something that maybe got in your way or slowed you down or didn't go so well. And so I'm going to play a quick song, let you fill out your rose bud and thorn from last week, and I'll see you back here um, after this song.
Thank you for sharing in the chat, your rosebud and thorn. Um, I love um, hearing and seeing what's happening with people's lives. Um, it's very exciting. Um, it looks like, Kate, you're trying to prep for. Um, it looks like writing. I think that's awesome. Um, Helen, I love that your bud is trying new a biofeedback tool to reduce stress and improve sleep. Um, I think that's a fabulous. Um, Chanel, um, that your thorn is um, able to, you, your son, let's see, able to change the changing and affecting, the sun is um, changing and affecting your mood and productivity. And you, I love that you're moving your workspace to try to compensate that. I think that's really smart idea. I just took out my little sun lamp um, for my desk because of that as well. Um, and then let's see, um, Andrea, your last issue founding, found causing fatigue, medicine, helping, and not surgery. Um, so that's good. Um, Carolyn, you're taking a photography workshop. So that's very exciting too. Um, that is good. Um, let's see, an apple orchard visit. That's cool. Going to Boston, Lori, that's awesome. Um, sorry, Carolyn, about your puppy, Karen, and I know what it's like to lose a puppy. It's very sad. And um, Pancake is a new kitty's name. That's amazing. I absolutely love that name. Um, very cool. Um, so I um, love that everybody's been able to reflect on something good, something that's going to happen and something that just makes us persevere. So I appreciate you all sharing and um, taking the time to reflect. So let's turn to page 48 now and let's think about um, our planner pages. So we're going to skip ahead 46 and 47 um, for now. We'll get back to that. That will be the meat of our day today together. So 46 and 47, or 48 and 49 looks like this. And I'd like us to continue um, and really think about um, how our mind map questions um, can continue to think about. It was so inspiring and so um, insightful. How could we maybe use the one thing box this week or just a tiny little space on that page to think about how are we demonstrating perseverance today? Was there something that we came in um, into contact with or how our beliefs in others, maybe there was something that triggered we needed to find grace in or somebody that we um, came into contact with um, that we really thought they really helped me persevere or something that they did really supported me um, or I was able to really think about um, believing in them um, and what they did or believing in myself today um, helped me persevere through this certain circumstance. Can we take what we did in the mind map today and actually journal about it throughout the week or just be a little bit more aware? So I just like to think about that um, a little bit uh, and challenge you about taking that mind map just a little bit deeper um, because it was so insightful today. Um, how might you think about it through the week a little bit differently and use it more as a journaling prompt as you think about, okay, today, how did perseverance connect with me? How did my belief about others support um, me? And was there something that triggered me to think, be more curious and non-judgmental um, in that way? So just a thought. Otherwise, I'm going to share a couple examples how people use um, this page. So just a different way to use blocking and coloring. Um, different way to use, um, chunk the days out. The one thing up here is just using different words to motivate you, um, just different colors. For me, I just use one color pen and I use different ways to, like you just saw, I'm going to try the perseverance thing this week. Um, this one I, I thought was really interesting. They're going to use their schedule just on the left-hand column, the middle area, just different ways that they're going to um, 
think about their work schedule and different things they have going on. And then on the right-hand side, they have four different categories. So work and family, personal, ongoing tasks, and cleaning. Um, so I think that's really good. Um, and then this is the same one. They just block out and do really perfectly straight lines. <laughs> I could never do that. And then the blank page, um, they're going to just write down different notes about the daily rituals. One more example here, Diane, this is yours. They use um, starfish. So how did I make a difference today? Compliment, affirmation, gratitude, thank you different things about five senses, and then dose. So motivation, connection, mood, and stress. And um, I'll go in a little bit more about what dose means. Yes, Dinah, we love sharing your example here. Um, and a little bit about dose, which I think is really super cool and important. Dopamine is for motivation. So what are the things that you can do for that? Um, how do you release oxytocin for connection? Um, serotonin to boost your mood and endorphins to ease stress. And what are the different activities that you can experience during your week um, to really have that boost? Yes, yeah, so many screenshots, Lori. This is really a cool way. And I'll go through this as you think about how you want to set up your week. But um, just that, that these were really cool to tools to think about and science-backed how we can really have that boost in our week ahead. So um, with that, I am going to give you a song um, and I'll let you think about how you might want to set that up. And I will be back here shortly.
All right. I'm so glad you guys liked that and had some fun setting up how you're going to manage the week ahead. Um, and so let's think about instead of always saying, oh, I'm so busy, I'm so busy, I have so much going on. Let's think about how we may be productive. And so I just love this little diagram that Silk and Sonder has on their Instagram page. So let's think about taking action based on purpose, think, thinking about the bigger picture, focusing on one task at a time, and then working smarter, um, being um, a results focused mindset and say no and setting boundaries. And so I just think this is a really cool thing as we think about our week. So let's turn back to page 46 and 47. Let's start to really break it down now on how we might think about um, having that productive week and not a busy week. Um, Let's, so this is my um, page spread. I really want to be focused this week. Um, so my goals will really think about how can I be focused in self, home, and work. I'm trying something new with my to-dos. I thought I would do a bingo. Um, my habit and activities, I'm only going to do three. I'm going to track my food. Um, my mind, body, health plan, I'm going to track what I'm going to wear this week. And I'm going to do the Wordle, and then I'm going to track my connections, whether I'm calling, texting, face-to-face, -face, I'm going to send some letters in the mail, and then FaceTiming some people as well. Um, so that's my weekly spread. We're going to break it down, though, this week, and we're going to focus on how I want to feel in weekly goals together. So we're going to tackle that together. And then our to-dos and habit and activities together, and then we'll give you time to work on that. Then we're going to do um, meal plan, and then we'll end up with mind, body, health, shopping list, and I am loving. So let's get in how we want to feel this week. Um, let's just share in the chat right now different ways that you want to feel. I'll give you some ideas here, some accomplished, present. I have a little word cloud here. How do you want to feel? Um, what are ways that you want to feel this week? Here's some more fun in the sun, content. Um, what do you want to feel more of? What do you want to feel less of? Um, somebody just wants to feel okay this week. Somebody wants to feel self-love. Um, I'm seeing joy and strong. Um, Sonia, you want to feel healthier. You have bronchitis. I'm so sorry about that. Stacy wants to feel brave. Um, I love the two examples in the middle here. They have um, how they want to feel um, for each day of the week. Um, this other person has content and then they have C um, different words based on each letter of the word. Um, at peace. Um, Marie, I want to feel calm. You've been so stressed. You just want to feel a little bit of calm, rested, accomplished, organized, healthy, energized, motivated, productive, and, and energized. A um, lot of great words this morning. Um, you can say one word, you can say more of and less of, several words. You can use a phrase, an affirmation, a sticker, a picture, something you want to focus on, um, a quote. You can use this um, any way that you want. Oh, Amy, you want to feel pain-free or comfortable thinking of you. Um, the emotion, sensation, feeling, will is awesome by Lindsay Bramham. I think that's great to Google that. Yes, I want to feel curious, excited. Um, Kate, I love that you're signed up for some activities to help you feel that. I think it's really important. So we'll think about that now. How can your goals support how you want to feel? Um, I think it's really important to really make that connection. And so let's think about how we want to do that. This person wants to feel mellow. Um, so they really put it into three categories, um, mind, body, and spirit. So how might you feel mellow? Um, how your goals will support that. The person on the right wants to feel motivated. So they did a quadrant of four. So reading, writing, moving, and work, those three or those four areas will help them feel motivated. Um, powerful. So one, two, three goals, home, work, and self. Um, they are helping support them feel powerful. Calm, confident, capable, and courageous. I am confident I can move my body every day, 7,000 plus steps a day. I am capable of doing two courageous things. See how the connection is there? 
calm, five moments of calm in work and home. And they're going to write that down. Um, let's look here. Um, this person on the left said, you know what? I'm repurposing this area. I'm just going to write a quote and I'm going to track my expenses. So if this doesn't fit for you this week, go ahead and change it. It's awesome. You can do what you want in this space. Um, this person wants to feel harmony. So they wrote down their goals are rest, communicate and reflect. And the person on the right achieved and happy. So they want to eat well, stay active and self care. And then they have details underneath. So I'm going to play a song. I will scroll back and forth between all of these um, examples. And I will um, be back here after the song is done. All right, I'll see you back here shortly. Such a supportive community. Thank you so much for sharing how you want to feel and some of those goals that would support that. Lori, thank you for sharing. You want to feel energized. 
feel that way, your goals are to move, nourish, and rest your body. And now as we move on to your to-do list, those will be how you will accomplish those things. So that is exciting to to hear and think about. So as we think about movie shifting over to um, your to-do list, um, let's look at some of those examples um, that I've pulled. Um, so you can just do a straight bullet list. Um, you can do ones with numbers and checklists with a, like a, a date behind them. Um, on the right-hand side, we have the Eisenhower matrix list. Um, on the bottom where it says urgent, non-urgent, um, not important, important, delegate it, um, do it, plan it, drop it. Um, so just a different way to organize it. Uh, a couple more examples here. Um, just putting in a quote, if you don't wanna think about a to-do list, if it feels um, overwhelming, you can do a bingo board. I'm gonna do that this week. This person is actually has it focused on decluttering. Um, on the right hand side, I love it. A be kind, how to how to be. Um, and they have it as be kind, be quiet, be slow to anger. Um, so lots of different ways you can categorize it need, want, wish. Um, you could use it as a check in, you could do it as an AM, PM. Um, you could do stickers or doodles or affirmations or quotes. Um, oh, Anne, I love it. One of these is yours. That's great. Um, so fun. So many ideas um, for to-dos. Um, how about let's look at our habits and activities, and then I'll give you time to focus and set that up as well. Um, so like I said earlier, when I showed you mine, you don't need to fill in every single line. And then um, you can, and on the top left-hand side, you don't have to, they must be going away for the weekend or something. You don't have to track every single day. If you have a, the weekend away, um, just do Monday through Thursday. Um, and then also you don't have to fill in the goal if you don't want to. Um, on the top right-hand side, they circled the days that they feel like they could really accomplish those activities. Um, and they didn't put a goal in the goal line. And um, the on the right hand side, um, there is something called the five, four, three, two, one. Um, so they're going to journal five times that week. Spring gratitude, they're going to do four times. Strength must be strength exercise three times. Yoga two times, walk outside one time. Um, so it's just a different um, way to track how many times you're going to do something. Lots of different fun ways to think about that on the bottom in the middle, that person just decided to take a piece of paper and write over it. And that was going to just be a place where they can reflect and journal. Bottom left hand side, uh, that's they just didn't put in a goal at all. They just um, that's the color they're going to use to draw in the circle. And whatever day they can do that activity, they will just color it in. Um, so lots of ideas here um, of things that you can use um, um, for ideas for creating habits and activities. So I'm going to play another song and I'll scroll back and forth between these two, um, to do's and habit and activities. And I'll let you get set up for the week and I'll be back here in a few minutes. <laughs>
All right. How's that going for everyone? You're getting set up for the week for your to-dos and your habits and goals. What kinds of habits are you going to track this week? Be interested in hearing for you. Um, Dina, your to-do section is a pinwheel with the dose ideas. I love that. Um, Chanel, you're making your um, enjoy a fall bingo. I love that. That's a great one. Habit is your, Carolyn, your um, PM skincare routine. Why is that so hard for us sometimes? I know mine is. Um, I should add that um, as an as a habit activity as well. I just get so tired and sometimes fall asleep on the couch. So, um, so such a difficult thing to do. Um, and I always journal before I go to bed. So that's not a hard thing to do, but it is a hard thing to do to to um, do that routine. And now that I'm going to be 55 in March, I need to be even more aware of my nighttime habit. Um, <laughs> Self-care relaxation exercise are weekly to-dos. That's good, Andrea. Um, Amy, your habits are things you love and care about, except for one thing you struggle with organizing in small time pockets each day. Um, Leanne, you found a book, Read the Bible in 52 Weeks. This will be your first week. And going forward, I've heard really good things about that from people that I know that have done it. So I, I look forward to hearing how that goes for you. Excellent. Really great things here. Um, just given time, we're going to move on towards our meal plan. So let's flip the page over to page 47. Uh, I'm going to share with you, I track my food Um that I intake so every day as I eat something or drink something, I write it down. Um, I get migraines, so I actually use my mood tracker as my symptom tracker for how I actually feel if I get a migraine or have any symptoms toward a migraine. So I like to track my food and then I go back and look at my symptom tracker um, to see if there's any correlation. On my right hand side, um, here's ways to repurpose the meal plan. So if you want to take a screenshot of this, there's lots of um, ways, affirmation, schoolwork. I'm going to go through all these examples on the next following slides. Um, here's the seven types of rest. I know a lot of people really like this. Um, there's seven, seven sections here um, for the meal plan. So Physical, mental, sensory, creative, emotional, social, spiritual. Those are different ways um, this person uses it to think about activities that can help them with um, their seven types of rest. And so I think that's just a beautiful example. Um, here's different ways. Symptom health tracker. Again, somebody's tracking their glucose. Um, the daily debrief. I like that idea on the bottom left. Here's scripture. Um, so maybe that 52 weeks of the Bible, um, you can track and write down different thoughts there. Um, uh, Regina, you use it, your meal plan for daily scriptures. I like that. Um, work or homework um, or, or less on plan reminder, lesson plan reminders. There's this GLAD um, acronym, Grateful, Learned, Achieved, and Delighted. You could use that as well. Um, affirmations, journal prompts, tidy up or decluttering schedule for the week, appointments, wardrobe check, tracker, check-in um, for the week, um, a wellness plan. Again, here's the seven types of rest. How about feels and meals when you're eating? How do you feel? Are you eating out of boredom? Are you eating out of anxious? Are you eating because what are you, how are you feeling when you're eating? Um, a self-care plan, a word of the day or a weekly reflection, your favorites or quotes or highlights, accomplishments. So I'm going to give you um, just a very brief song right now. Um on this and let you think about how which one of these really resonates with you this with you this week or if you want to try something new or just take a screenshot I'll scroll back and forth and I'll see you back here in a minute
All right, I'm looking forward to seeing examples this coming week in Sonder Club of how you all are using this or if you've changed your mind on how you want to try a new one this week. Um, I know I feel like I'm a creature of habit when it comes to the meal plan page. All right, as we bring it home for the week, let's think about mind body health plan, shopping list and I am loving. I've got some great ideas here. Um, so on the left-hand side, daily affirmations for the top section and the social check-in or I renamed mine connections. Um, this is, I stole this idea from this person on the left side, but I'm using it this week. Um, so just list out the names of the people and each day and how you're connecting. Connections are so important. Um, and then on the middle one, different um, mind, body, health kind of schedule of what they're doing, a quote and what they're loving. Um, let it go up here, let it go of future worries, having to do it all, always needing to eat healthy, their actual shopping list. And I love this yay for me bingo in their shopping list area. Um, and really focusing on celebrating themselves. Um, a couple more examples here. Here's a, a cleaning schedule for mind, body, health. Each day of the week, they're doing something. A beautiful quote with beautiful writing. Um, here it looks like mind, body, health plan. Um, tracking their weight in um, beautiful colors here. Um, a fall bucket list for mind, body, health plan. Um, that's really cool. And then up on the right hand side um, are just different ways of a shopping list and different ways of doing a mind body health plan. And then um, finally here, a couple more ideas. Maybe you want to use it as a bill play, bill, bill pay errands. Again, another um, bingo. You're awesome. Um, different ways to do chores. And a couple of you this week, you could do a birthday week bingo. Um, and then I love this energy givers, what gives us energy and how can you um, check those off your list this week. So, um, and then I am loving, I love this silk and sound of journaling and then adding, I am loving myself by. So just adding a couple more words to that, I think is really cool. Um, so love to hear in the chat, um, different ways that you're using this looks like dynamite is a list of random acts of kindness that uses the seven types of rest categories. Oh, it's an honor of a friend who passed away. Always thought of other people. I love that. Um, Kat, where can I find seven types of rest? Oh, um, I think Karen can put a link to it in the chat, I believe, um, there's actually on the Silk and Sonder website, a quiz as well. Um, so we'll see if Karen can get that, that link up there. Um, Amy, um, there you go. Thanks, Karen. I appreciate that. Um, trying to get to bed earlier, your body's, um, telling you to, but it doesn't correlate with your hubby. Yeah, that's really hard too. So your mind body health plan, um, is a list, um, bedtime listing for each night to see what will work best. That's good. Um, Julia, I'm really appreciating that someone else has to specifically state laundry start to finish as a chore. Um, so true. Um, Dinah, your shopping list and I'm loving spots are for your breath, prayer and reflection. I always love it when you share that in the Sonder app so we can see what that looks like. Um, Chanel, I am doing, um, how did I care for myself today in the mind, body, health box? That's awesome. Um, and everybody's resonating. Yes, to complete the laundry. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so any um, other comments before we close today? Um, Sherry, it looks like this week will be specific to self-care bingo. That's good. Um, lots of fun examples. We really are so appreciative of everything that you guys share in Sonder Club because um, we're able to then share out in these Sonder socials different examples. One last example here that I'm going to share before we leave today is the difference between self-soothing self and self-care as you think about what you're going to be putting in your weekly um, spreads. Um, 
There's nothing wrong with self-soothing. Those are awesome things. Things like bubble baths and spa treatments, shopping, splurging on treats, TV. I mean, I'm going to be watching some Hallmark movies this weekend, <laughs> um, vacationing. But it's really important also for self-care. Like we talked about going to bed, taking mindful breaks, setting boundaries, eating nutritious, balanced meals, seeking support, deep breathing, mindfulness. Um, those are all really important and um, should be prioritized and balanced um, just as well. So I just really wanted to share um, this that Karen actually brought to us earlier in the year. And I wanted to bring it back because I was really feeling like I needed a reminder. Um, so that I would share it all with you as well. Um, Megan is asking, is there a place in the app to see quizzes and available? Yes, there are quizzes in the app. Um, and I'm not sure exactly, maybe Karen can point to where that is. Um, here's just another screenshot for meal plan, shopping list, um, different repurposing areas if you want to take a screenshot of that. And then um, my playlist, if you're interested, I didn't get to play all of them, but they're almost all there. This is October movies on different channels that I'll be watching this weekend. I'll go back to that. But here, because we're at the end, Karen shared um, refer a friend. You get $10. They get $10. If you want to upgrade to an annual subscription, there's a savings there. And here's um, a link to the app. Um, and then obviously, we love to be able um, to share this private YouTube link to watch, rewatch our video recordings. That'll be up in a day or two. So you can rewatch re um, and see all the, of these examples again. And of course, we love spending our time with you. We hope to get to see you again um, on a future Silk and Sonder um, weekly setup, monthly setup, journal prompt. Um, and so it's so great to see you and be with you and so inspired by each and every one of you, Karen. And I hope and wish you all a great week ahead. Happy birthday to those of you um, that have birthdays um, through the rest of the month. And we will see you again. Take care. Doctor.